Well, the war has affected people here in the islands. For one Israeli man who now calls Hawaii home, he says it was agonizing not knowing whether his loved ones were okay. But finally, after getting in touch with family members there, he says family and friends are now doing whatever they can just to stay safe as the attacks continue to unfold. Here's Max Rodriguez with more in a story that's new at 9. Kaimuki High School football coach Mati Korodanchik sent here back in his home country of Israel, visiting his young niece at a happier time. Just months later, the situation in Israel is dire. He tells me his sister and her husband evacuated their home near the Gaza border after the attacks. It, it's so stressful. I have a two-year-old niece. Um, my sister, my brother-in-law, they don't have a bomb shelter in their house. That to run to their in-laws who live nearby. He says there are about a dozen people sheltering in place inside a small bomb shelter. He's heard from friends with their little ones going days without food or water. The attack by Hamas on Israel taking him and the entire world by surprise. We never imagined anything like that. We always... That was the 9-11 or the Pearl Harbor of Israel. Emmanuel Temple's Rabbi Cantor Cherry Wise says many in the community have reached out offering their support. She knows many in Hawaii are being impacted by the war in Israel. I would hazard a guess that not a single Israeli person has not been impacted on a personal level. They either know someone who's been killed or kidnapped or family is missing or they've been severely injured because remember this is mostly a civilian attack on the innocent civilians. She says they are planning vigils for temple members as well as a public vigil, but those are being planned carefully and with security top of mind. It just takes one time and it takes one person who has evil in, in his or her heart to devastate an entire community. We've seen that in other places. The reality right now is that the thousands of Jewish people and the hundreds of Israelis living in Hawaii are all in mourning at this moment. That We are in mourning and they're hurting and please check in with them. Meanwhile, Gorod and Chick worries about the children. Uh, as an educator, I know that those things are going to affect them for the rest of their lives. He will continue checking on his loved ones and praying for their safety. Max Rodriguez, KH1 News, working for Hawaii.